Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. How are you guys doing? Uh, today is a weekend, so I just thought uh, I should uh, work on in one of the requests uh, which I have uh, received uh, with uh, many people. So I just thought that uh, I should work on this uh, subject. So uh, this may help you to understand how to work uh, and how to make a reflection uh, in a watercolor. So I'll go ahead and uh, make the sketch first. I'll quickly I'll make this uh, video. Uh, so this is one boat. And even in the previous video, I told you that uh, the sketch is very important because if your sketch is not clear, then then you may have you know, some bit some some challenge to uh, you know to to make to make your painting. So uh, I I've, I've been requesting you everyone to just you know uh, spend some time doing sketch so that will really help you a lot so. i'm just creating one fishing boat here I've seen many people who is having a, a really tough time uh, working on a watercolor. Uh, the reason behind uh, their sketch was uh, not proper, the perspective and the overall the composition was not good. So no matter how good you, you are with watercolor, but uh, if your composition, if your sketch is not okay, then you may have you know, some some challenge so keep that in mind when you are when you are making watercolor when you are learning watercolor so there is a couple of people here the fishing man <coughs> yeah that's all I don't want to make much here it just one, one fishing pier yeah so uh so the, the the reflection of this boat will fall here and uh, some of uh, the pool and uh, the ropes and all will have those reflection here so that's the uh, the subject today i'll be working on so the color palette i have today is uh, the cobalt blue sepia sap green orange yellow ochre red and crimson and other part of the palette which is not visible here is uh, I'll be also using a uh, some bit of uh, the Bunsiana and uh, ultramarine blue and ivory black so I'll uh, keep telling you if I'm using any of those color from 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 that palette so so let's start I'll, I'll take this uh, cobalt blue first and uh, I'll mix with a little bun sapia So this is the first layer of this painting and I want to keep this white so I'm not uh, this deck I just want to keep this white So I 
want this uh, boat to be in our right color I'll take a little buns here now here and uh, now we'll be working on this water so let it bleed like this when it falls on the water so it's always good let it bleed there I'm taking this uh, ultramarine blue here, a little darker. So the moment you're going down, you just use a little darker color here. If you want to make it a little more obvious, then I'll add a little green. So need to make this a little tough on depth there. All right, so we have done our first layer you have to take the darker color of it so I'm using this ultramarine blue like this this is a very important part like this So I'm thanking you so much uh, to all my Patreon who is helping me and uh, and I really look forward to have uh, the more Patreon uh, who can help me to create this watercolor more and more and share with you guys. 
thank you so much once again and uh, i look i look forward to uh, have you uh, as my patreon so friends if you really wish to support my art so then please uh, visit my patreon page and uh, and support my art okay so seems like uh, our first layer is got completely dry so now i'll go for the second layer so when you do painting make sure that everything is got dry so uh, this is my second layer So, so there are some <clears throat> some house there, some buildings. So take a little more water and try to establish perspective here. Mop the extra water. On the boat. So I'll make this uh, this two guy here. So I'll put some color here. So now we'll have to the make uh, the most important thing here it is the reflection. So for this, uh, what you need to do here is uh, see the thing here is uh, this boat is having the right colors. So the initially you have to take this the right color and make it a little darker from its actual color. So I've used this sepia and use this the right so I made this a little darker here this and <clears throat> make sure that you should have uh, enough water in your brush so it you need this a little water in this and then you need to be very much you know fearless here the moment you'll you'll be uh, in a fear then you may have a problem to you know 
make the right uh, patches here so be very free if, if it, even if it is not working fine it's okay so make this this one like this <coughs> Take this cobalt blue. <clears throat> so I've taken the black. <clears throat> and I put it here because it requires some bit of depth here. Yeah, that's all. Be lighter, and uh, I'll just simply I'll just say. That's all lighter. So this uh, another window for for this port. And the door. Now if we have some pole here, So the pole reflection has to come here in uh, <coughs> in your uh, so you need to make this pole reflection here so uh, let's uh, So thank you so much everyone and uh, and I and I really look forward to have uh, at the end of the, the video very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much looking at my videos.